Hello everybody, so today we're gonna be taking a look at this ninja hoodie with the reorbiting fire We're first gonna take a look here, then we're gonna check my loadout with it on And then we're of course gonna check it in game Here we got it on the loadout, and I do gotta say that I've gotten way more happy for scout ever since I've gotten like this holy mackerel here And it does feel like I'm just playing engineer but a bit faster And he does also have access to, you know, my favorite item which is this pistol of course so I, I do feel like it, it was about time that he got a proper hat in general that, that is actually pretty damn good. Here we have it in like uh, third person and we are got, just gonna turn around here. If you haven't noticed it, the reorbiting fire is actually rotating around like the body level instead of the head level. Which, it, it's only a shame because if you adjust a reorbiting fire, it goes to the moon. Which, normally you can fix this thing by just adjusting the unusual. And... It's I guess this is pretty cool. I don't mind. It's a one of one, but I'm just saying that I, I, I do like having options and not having that option kind of sucks in a sense compared to what it would otherwise be that Oh, yeah, I want it to be in body level now. Oh, I want it to be normal So I do hope Valve eventually fixes that but other than that considering that again This is like a one of one it might even be the case with all orbiting fire Ninja hoods that, that this is like how it goes like around the body level that is but you know what, I, I'm happy with it, and I, I don't really care that it's like that. And if you're wondering about how much I paid, I, I believe I paid like 110 keys for this. A bit more than I would actually have, have paid. I, I think I was okay paying 100. But it, it is a one of one, and I did do the mess, and compared to other one of one Halloween ninja hoods, this would probably be worth like 75 to 85 keys. But you know what, I paid 110 because I really wanted it, and I'm ha happy with my purchase. Of course you can see here where it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be just around the head level, and it's down here instead of up here, so you can see like the difference there. Also I'm pretty sure we all agree that uh, because uh, the war pick have a bandana like this, then it's basically a helm hood for, for soldier. And I haven't heard anybody arguing against that, which leaves two issues back left on my loadout. The medic, which... You know what, I'm actually happy with this, I don't mind that the medic doesn't have a hood, but I would love a non-hood with a reorbiting fire, sadly that doesn't exist one, can't justify buying a burning flames. Listen, the, the dream would be burning flames, and this is probably one of the only places where I have to be like, you know what, maybe being a bit broke recently does prevent me from buying what I want, but otherwise I'd probably go and buy a, a burning flames non-hood to just be like, okay, that's my medic hat now, so I have like hoods on all my classes. Real quick before I forget, I should probably mention I have considered to replace this on my soldier with a blizzardy storm rack or smoking rack. The reason with the Blizzard Storm is just, you know, smoking is technically my favorite, but I feel like the soldier really deserve to wear my favorite effect. So maybe a Blizzard Storm which would also just look nice on the loadout. And the main priority there is just, I kind of feel like maybe as low amount of classes could wear the polar pullover as possible, so it's more exclusive to my engineer. And before somebody say buy a smoking uh, shaman mask for demo, I want to clarify that the shaman mask for demo is actually a whole head cosmetic which means that it's not a cosmetic it's actually uh, you know it's, it's like takes up all possible heads you can put on by what I've seen I've tried to mess around with it and load out the TF it have horrible clipping and you cannot equip hats without doing some co sort of quick switch uh, glitch with it that you don't really do on a trade server anyways not many actually seem to know this but I primarily main engineer than spy but if you look on my loadouts, my engineer kind of use all class hats, I do have single class hats for him. But if you consider it, it's like my engineer and spy loadouts are like loadouts that kind of look the least impressive out of my loadouts. Because it's using, again, like engineer could be impressive, especially when you compare to the other loadouts I have that, oh, I'm actually just reserving an, an all class hat and misc for just the engineer. But then you look on my spy and it's like, the, this is like a, what, 20 key misc? It's like basically nothing in terms of cosmetics and then it, it's just because I, I want a hood for spy I think he looks very weird without something like the dash and assassin the nano or maybe a uh, uh, and banana so I really hope they add some sort of war hood like item to him or maybe makes the war hood available to be on spy so uh, to, to put it simply the only loadout I'm very unhappy with is how my spy is and how I don't really have access in my own opinion to dual unusual effect on spy and having it look uh, good and then I'm like I'd rather wear the dash and assassin than dual effect as it is right now and then of course with my medic where I can't get in the reorbiting fire non-hood for him regardless I hope you guys enjoyed this I'll see you again next time <laughs> <laughs>